Hi guys, Curly Susie here, and today I committed the ultimate curly crime. I flat ironed my hair. Not only did I flat iron my hair, but I washed my hair with sulfate shampoo, and then I loaded her up with some silicones, and then I flat ironed my hair. Why? Why did I do this, you might ask? Well, I did it for two reasons. Number one is that today is a year since I went from having extremely damaged hair that wouldn't even curl anymore to having the long, beautiful hair that you guys are used to seeing me with. For those of you who are new to my channel, my hair normally looks like this. It took me a year of not flat ironing my hair, not using sulfate and silicone, and just being gentle on my hair to get my hair to curl again. I had been flat ironing my hair and damaging my hair for so long that I didn't even know that my hair was curly anymore. This video is for two different type of people. Uh, number one, it's for people with naturally curly and wavy hair who want to flat iron their hair on occasion. I cannot stop you from flat ironing your hair on occasion. And if your hair is healthy, then it's probably okay to do so every once in a while as long as you're being gentle on your hair. And I'm going to go through some of the things that you can do to be gentle on your hair in this video. And then the other person that this video is for is somebody who is new to the curly girl method and you really want me to talk about why I don't flat iron my hair anymore and you want to learn a little bit about silicone and sulfate and heat and how it performs on your hair. So here we go. Um, here is my curly to straight hair routine and I hope you enjoy this video. For shampoo, I'm gonna use this Redken All Soft. This was my very favorite shampoo when I used to use sulfates and I used to flat iron my hair. This shampoo actually has silicone right in the shampoo. For conditioner, this is my all time new favorite conditioner. It is Bioterra Color Care by Naturel and I love this. Um, here is my straight hair secret weapon blast from the past, John Frieda Frizzies. I've used a lot of this in my day. Okay, so first thing is I'm gonna take off my t-shirt turban. I dry my hair like this in order to prevent frizz. So yes, I'm still not drying my hair with a towel. I'm just gonna wrap it up and let the t-shirt absorb half of the water. And then I'm just gonna comb through my hair, which I've already finger detangled in the shower. Um, and I'm only using a wide tooth comb. You will see that throughout this tutorial, I do not use a hairbrush. I just use this comb or my fingertips, and that is to prevent any extra hair breakage. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised about how easily the comb slid through my hair, and I'm going to attribute that to uh, the new conditioner that I got. I absolutely love it for curly or straight hair. I think I got that comb at Sally. Anyway, still combing, still combing, and more combing. Okay, now I'm going to section my hair into two sections. Normally I use a giant claw clip, but I couldn't find one, so I'm going to use a regular old elastic. Um, I don't recommend using these elastics, but it was all I had. Okay, let's start the drying. So for the bottom section of my hair, I'm going to use two pumps of this John Frieda Frizzies, and I am going to spread it all over my hands, even the backs of my hands, because after I finish raking it through my hair, I'm going to use my hands to finger comb my hair as I go, and that's going to distribute more product. So here's my hair dryer. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. This is like the oldest hair dryer you can buy. It's by Revlon and it only has two speeds, so I'm going to put it on the maximum speed. Um, and this hair dryer only has a cold setting and a warm setting. It doesn't get very hot, so I'm going to use it on my warm setting. If you have a better hair dryer, do not put it on the hottest setting. Just put it on warm. That is more than enough to dry your hair because if you did what I did in the beginning, you already absorbed most of the water with a t-shirt. So now I'm just gonna finger detangle and dry my hair. And the beauty about my method is I can dry my hair quickly and I'm not really taking too much time sectioning and combing out my hair because I don't wanna break off too much hair. So I'm just letting the air flow through my hair and using my hands to smooth my hair and detangle my hair. Okay. Now I'm going to dry the second section. So that is the top part of my hair that is layered. I'm going to use two pumps again of the John Frieda Frizzies. And I'm just using the same technique. I'm going to smooth that through my hair and get ready to dry the top section. So same thing. 
I'm not really, like you'll see in some methods, you take a round brush or a paddle brush and you very like strategically blow out the hair, but I don't want to stretch a brush through my hair and break my hair. So I'm just using my fingertips until my hair is this dry. Doesn't that look cute? I look like Cousin It. Um, so anyway, now I'm going to flat iron my hair and I'm just using this flat iron that I got from Winners. I don't even know what name brand it is. I think it says Zen Zen on it. I'm going to post a link to it in the, the description box. I think it's a great flat iron and it was only about $40, so that's a pretty good price. Um, the most important thing is that I'm only going to put it on 320 degrees. It goes up to 445 degrees but that is just unnecessarily hot and it's going to do a few things. A, it's going to break down the bonds in your hair and it's going to permanently damage your curl pattern. It is also going to ruin your hair color. My hair is artificially colored. It's bleach blonde underneath with the toner over it and the hotter you have your hair tools, the more it strips the color out of your hair and this is something that my hair dresser told me. Um, and yeah, and you just don't need it to be that hot. So as you can see, I'm just sectioning my hair in like little two inch sections. My hair is very fluffy and very fine, so I don't have to use teeny tiny sections. Like it looks like I'm grasping a lot of hair, but I'm not. So there the bottom part and the top part of my hair is done. And I'm just gonna go over the top one more time. So my hair looks really shiny and my hair is protected and I'm gonna thank silicone for that. So yes, silicone does have a purpose. Um, you'll see I'm just flat ironing these two little sections. All of this hair fell out after I had my baby, um, right in my like widow's peak area. So I have a lot of little flyaways there and I find that area stays curly. Um, it's really hard to keep straight, so I run over that one more time. So there's my hair. Um, and this is the most important part of my method. I take a large barrel curling iron at the end and I just run through about six to eight sections of my hair and that gives it the softer, prettier, more natural kind of look rather than looking like you just came from the salon and got your hair flat ironed. Like it's just a little bit softer and a little bit cuter. And what else was I going to tell you? That's it. Oh my god, what am I doing here? I'm like checking out my mustache. Not bad, Susie. You can wait a couple more weeks to get that done, I think. Anyway, um, what was I going to say to you? I'm almost done this video here. Uh, just know that right now my hair is full of silicone and in order to get that silicone out, I'm going to have to wash my hair with a sulfate shampoo and that's not only going to remove the silicone, but it's going to strip all the natural oils out of my hair and that's something that you don't want when you're trying to follow the curly girl method. So the more you use silicone, the more you have to use sulfate to strip it out and it's just a vicious cycle of drying out and damaging your hair. Ooh, va va voom. So there you guys have it. There is my curly to straight hair routine. Hey! Hi. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie and say that I don't love my hair like this. I really do. Um, but... I love having healthy curly hair even more and I honestly don't think that you can have both. Unless, again, like I mentioned earlier, you have super healthy hair that you don't color um, or bleach and you can get away with flat ironing it every once in a blue moon. But for me, it's just going to keep me from my hair goals and my hair goal is to have long, like longer than this, I want to have long, healthy, curly hair. Um, and yes, I probably could get away with flat ironing my hair every once in a while, but I just don't want to. And I don't want to have to go through that awkward phase of training my hair to curl again every few weeks because I decided to flat iron my hair. As I mentioned in my last video, today marks one year since I started trying to get my natural curly hair back. Um, and today uh, symbolizes for me a new year. So tomorrow, I'm going to wash my hair with a shampoo with sulfate in it to remove the silicone I just put in it. And then I'm going to add uh, silicone-free conditioner and silicone-free products. And I'm going to start the Curly Girl Method over again for another year. And I'm really hoping to grow my hair, I don't know, four to five inches next year. I know that sounds crazy, but since I started... The curly girl method, my hair has been growing like really fast and really long. So I'm really excited to see what next year brings. 
So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and a big thumbs down if you didn't like it. Leave any comments or questions you have in the comments section below um, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Will, do you want to say hi? Hi. Hi.